Hello everybody, this is Hitman Blood Money, a stealth action game released in 2006. Um, it's pretty open-ended as far as uh, stealth games go. Uh, you play as an assassin named Agent 47 who's sent on multiple assignments to um, assassinate multiple targets basically. Um, but even though this is supposed to be a stealth game, you can pretty much go about completing these objectives however you want. So. We're definitely going to see that in this uh, Any% percent New Game Plus run on Rookie Mode. We're doing New Game Plus, so we have uh, all the upgrades we already need already unlocked and don't need to buy them in between levels. And um, I'm playing on Rookie because um, the last level is a shootout level where um, I'm not good enough to, to complete on the highest difficulty, which is what people normally play this on. So uh, that's why we're playing on Rookie. So, um, we're gonna start off here this Any% percent New Game Plus run with the first level, of course. Uh, we skip the tutorial level because we don't need to play that if we're doing New Game Plus. The timer is gonna start as soon as the cutscene for the first level begins, so once the loading screen ends, the cutscene will begin, and that will be the beginning of the run. And uh, so here we have a simple level where we have two targets to kill. Uh, normally I would throw a bomb at these guys, or rather this guy, but uh, since uh, that's not a consistent strat and this is a uh, charity event marathon run, I'm doing the slower but more consistent strat of shooting him instead. And uh, the second target here is... Oh god. Alright, now I have to uh, wait a bit to uh, reload my weapon there, but uh, as you can see, both targets are already dead now, so I can just leave the level. And, uh, yeah, that, that's pretty much that. Uh, normally what I would do here is throw a bomb onto that balcony there, but that's not at all a consistent strat, so um, I just do this uh, safer and more consistent strat instead, where I uh, shoot open the door and shoot the target off the balcony instead. Not that he needs to be flung off the balcony in order to die from being shot, but yeah, now we just run to the end of the level off of this cliffside here to uh, underground seaplane, which is the only escape method uh, in this level. Uh, a couple of levels have uh, alternate escape routes, which are faster than the normal intended route, but unfortunately for this level, we have to take the long way around and uh, take this uh, cliff path to the seaplane to the one and only exit. And that's a vintage year already completed. Uh, we skip all of this. We don't need to look at it at all. Um, we go to the next level, Prince Down, which is uh, taking place during a rehearsal of the play Tosca. Uh, this is uh, another really simple and flat, fast level. All we have to do here is throw a bomb at this target here, set it off, shoot open this door, and as we make our way towards the uh, next target, who's backstage, we just peek our heads out here, uh, sh shoot him. Though it took a few more shots than it should have. And uh, yeah, this is another reason why we were playing on Rookie, because on professional difficulty, all of those cops would have me shot dead right now. Uh, I probably would still be able to finish the level, but uh, I would need, definitely need to heal at some point. So, oh, I matched too fast. I didn't mean to save there. But, uh, yeah, that's, uh, Curtain's Down already done. Next is, uh, one of the worst levels in the game, if I'm being honest. Flatline, where we have to rescue this agent who was sent to a, uh, rehab clinic to do some, uh, insider work, but they haven't heard back from him in a while, so now 47 has to go and rescue him. Um, what I'm gonna do here is throw a bomb and then set it off. Because what that does is calls the NPCs in the restricted area uh, that we need to access to that where the bomb went off. And since NPCs can open locked doors for us, this gives us early access to this restricted area. So, um, oh, that's unfortunate. So there's a trick that you can do there. Uh, as you can see, 47 was shimmying along that, that wall there. Uh, if you are uh, running, running at that um, thing at a certain angle, a uh, Agent 47 will actually just uh, fall off that ledge there instead of shimmying along the wall, but uh, I didn't get it, so that's unfortunate. We had to take the long way around. Uh, I don't know how to do that fall consistently, but uh, 
Yeah, since we have a pair of long and skippable cutscenes here, I'm going to explain what it is that I'm doing for the rest of the level. Uh, basically, the way this level works is that there's three targets to kill in this level, but you only need to kill one in order to actually finish this level. But uh, I don't want to take the time to uh, take a look at my uh, briefing menu to see which target it is that I need to kill for this level. So what I have done is uh, planned out a route that allows me to kill all three targets without needing to worry about which one is actually needed to finish the level. Uh, as Diana is uh, explaining to us what the mission objectives is, are here. So in a minute you're about to see what it is that uh, I'm going to do to... Um, the route that I take to, to kill all three of these targets. Uh, a strat that I have to do here in order to gain access to the morgue, which is where we rescue the agents that uh, we just uh, sedated more or less. Uh, we gave him a serum that made him appear to be dead, so they're taking him to the morgue. And uh, since we have to wait for him to arrive there at the morgue anyway, that's the when we're going to take the time to kill the three targets that we need to kill. So here I am in the restricted area, which means the cops are going to come down on me as soon as the, they, they, they see me here. But uh, that's one target down. We shot him as he was working out. This target's about to get into the hot tub, and that's two targets down. And uh, now we just make our way to the third one and then to the morgue. And done. All three targets down. Now we just make our way to the morgue. And... Uh, we simply wait for for the agent to show up. Um, normally, you would you would have to wait for the agent to show up at the morgue before you could gain access there. But again, NPCs can open locked doors for us. So what we can do is uh, place a bomb on the the back wall of the morgue building here. And uh, what this does is you you set it off and it calls their attention to that area, but because it's behind the morgue, basically, um, what it does is, yeah, as you can see, they run towards it through the morgue doors. So, uh, yeah, this allows us to get inside early, and, uh, oh, that's not good. You definitely don't want to bring the cops in here, because uh, they can ruin your plans, basically. But, uh, yeah, as long as nobody else runs in here while we're waiting for the agent to arrive, we should be good. And there he is. What the hell? This guy sees us, but he's no big deal. All he has is a taser gun, and, and that does nothing to us. In fact, he's not even using it, so he's not a bother at all. And, yeah, the level's done already. All right, so next we have a new life, another fast level. All we have to do here is kill this guy who's in witness protection in a witness protection program, and, and take a, a piece of microfilm that's uh, on the necklace of his wife. Um, we don't need to kill her, but it's much faster to just kill her and take her from uh, take it from her that way. Uh, the reason why we're bringing the sniper rifle with us is not so we can actually use it, but because. Um, when you uh, pick up the microfilm piece, it, uh, Agent 47 goes into this pickup animation, and obviously we don't want to waste time picking anything up, so if he's got both of his hands full, he still picks it up, but skips the pickup animation. And just like that, all we have to do now is make a way out of the level. It's just like that, and just as the FBI or Secret Service or whoever these guys are arriving, we are already exiting the level, just like that. Oh, uh, exit took a bit longer than usual because I was still reloading my gun as I was leaving, but uh, that's fine. No big deal. So next we have the big run killer of the run here, Murder of Crows, which um, has three targets, a sniper, a knife lady, and the leader, basically. Uh, the, the, the leader and uh, knife lady both spawn in the same place every time, but the sniper spawns in a random place, uh, on every run, so, uh, yeah, the fastest place where he can uh, spawn for us to kill him is right across from where we start, but, uh, it's random every time you play, so, uh, as you can see there, he wasn't there, and this time he is there. If I can kill him with this bomb right here, 
then uh, that'll be really good. I practiced this level a whole bunch uh, before this run, and for some reason that didn't kill him, even though um, the bomb clearly landed on the balcony and, and hit him, but that's fine. We're gonna try to kill the commander now that we've killed the knife lady, and hopefully that was a good bomb throw. Oh, it wasn't, unfortunately. So now I have to go all the way up to where he actually is and then shoot him myself. And I'm gonna have to do the same thing for the sniper as well. So that's the leader dead. Now we have to go to the sniper. Fortunately, we have to shoot our way through all of these Mardi Gras people, unfortunately. Just the way things are when things don't go the way as planned. Uh, but, uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> another unfortunate thing about this is that, aside from taking much longer than it normally would, uh, the door that the sniper is behind actually cannot be shot open, so we actually need to pick the lock on it in order to open it. Yeah, I have no idea how my bomb didn't, didn't, didn't kill him. But it's fine. He's dead now, so we can leave. Oh. That wasn't good. But, uh, yeah. Murder of Crows is done now. Worst level in the game. Well, one of the worst is out of the way now, so we can move on to the next one. You better watch out, which is, uh, more or less a Christmas theme base level where we have to kill basically, uh, Hugh Hefner and, uh, his son, uh, there's another target in this level, but we don't need to bother with that at all. This is any percent after all, so what we're going to do here is get in the elevator, um, throw a bomb on the roof of this elevator here, and uh, set it off, and that'll cause everybody to panic as we ride up the elevator, and uh, as we uh, finish this elevator ride here, I'm going to prime another bomb to throw, because, um, yeah, he's... Uh, the sun is going to run by as I'm setting off this bomb. Um, or at least, uh, normally that's what would happen when you set off the bomb there. Um, I'm not sure why that didn't kill him. Yeah, uh, I had to run back there. And wow, I took a lot of damage there for some reason. I'm going to need to heal. And uh, now I can make my way to uh, Hugh Hefner's office where I can shoot and kill him. Um, once again, I'm bringing the sniper rifle with me because there's an item that I need to retrieve in order to complete this level. And uh, if we have our hands full when we pick it up, we skip the pickup animation. There's the videotape, and uh, Hugh Hefner should be around here somewhere. But uh, I'm going to call the elevator while I search for him. He should be here. Yep. He was just behind that door, and uh, oh, I, that's unfortunate. I wasn't able to catch the elevator before the doors closed. But uh, now we make our way to the helipad and leave the level. These guys aren't a threat because I'm playing on the easiest difficulty, and I healed earlier, so I got plenty of health. Unfortunately, um, this uh. And the level cutscene cannot be skipped, so unfortunately we have to watch it every single time, which is definitely a, a huge bummer for people who like to grind for IL times. But the level is done now, so we can just uh, move on to the next one. <clears throat> Excuse me, as you would with any game. Death on the Mississippi, which takes place on a cruise ship. We are uh, on a cruise ship now, and there are six targets to kill. Well, seven, actually. But um, one of them is the captain of the ship, and the other six are all members of his gang. Um, once again, we bring the sniper rifle with us because there's an item that we need to retrieve, this time in the safe. But uh, we don't need a key or a combination or anything for this safe. Uh, we throw this bomb here because for some reason, setting it off from above where the second target is kills him anyway. So uh, now we just got run through the rest of the level, killing the rest of the targets, uh, which are all on the upper deck now. So uh, there's one, which means that three of the gang members are down now. There's four. I'm going to try to shoot his body there so that way his door can be left open. Um... There's the captain, and there's the 
fifth gang member. He's dead, the captain's dead, and the last gang member is dead, which means we can leave now. So the way we leave this level is actually pretty nifty. Um, normally you have to go all the way down to the bottom of the ship in order to uh, leave this level, but what you can instead here is uh, climb up these stairs, fall down them, and exit the level um, as 47 dies. <laughs> so, oh, I mashed too fast again. I accidentally saved my game, but that's unfortunately. But yeah, even if 47 dies, as long as he's already left of the level, then... Um, yeah, it, it still counts as completing the level, so we're all good. So next is, um, so Death Do Us Part, another level that I practiced a whole bunch of um, while I was um, uh, streaming earlier. And uh, here we uh, throw another bomb onto another balcony, and then we gun down another target after blowing up that bomb. And although we don't need to retrieve anything, on this level to complete it. Um, the fastest way to leave is through a boat, and uh, we're gonna need to steal the boat keys off of the priest in order to, um... Oh god, that's so bad. But, uh, yeah, that more or less went exactly how it was supposed to. Uh, we need to steal the boat keys off the priest, and again, skipping the pickup animation is much faster than watching it. Uh, I'm actually... Wow. His body jerks for some reason, and, uh... Oh my god, I needed to reload, so that delayed my escape. That's unfortunate, but, uh, that's still much faster than how the level went in my personal best run. So, uh, next we have a House of Cards, which is the longest level in the game, no matter how you try to play through it. Because you got three targets to kill, two of them take a long time to arrive, with the last target taking the longest amount of time to arrive. But, uh, luckily... There is a way to speed up the process. Uh, but first, what I'm going to do here is uh, walk over to the receptionist, um, uh, ask her for the, the key card to my room, because you can only access floors and, and doors that you have the key card for on this map. And uh, we're going to do a little bit of a risky strat here. Basically, we're going to stand next to the soda machine and... Uh, Oh, yeah, see, this is why it's risky, because you never know when somebody's going to open these doors and, uh, yeah, basically expose us. We're going to need to shoot her so that way she uh, doesn't blow our cover. And, uh, yeah, shoot the first target through the door there, and now we're going to run over to where the other targets, or rather the people who arrive by limousine arrive, and uh, that's where our second target is going to be. Ah, uh, so... Normally, when these people arrive by limousine, what happens is um, there's this long animation where you have to wait for the door to close before the, the limousine leaves, but uh, we can actually use a bomb to blow them up as soon as they arrive. And what that does is, because they're already dead, the animation doesn't play out, so the limousine leaves more or less right away. So as you can see, the I already blew up the second target, so now it's all just a matter of waiting for the last one to show up. Um, we're going to take this guy's briefcase here, because uh, in order to blow up the, the rest of the limousines safely, we need to make sure that nobody sees what we do. So, I'm um, going to go into this elevator real quick, just to make sure that nobody sees me uh, put a bomb in this, uh, in this briefcase. Oh. <clears throat> And then, uh, we're just gonna go over here and wait for the next limousine to arrive. And then set it off when, once they do arrive. Should be coming any minute now. Because this guy died in, in such a certain way, like, he more or less landed pretty much in the same spot where he died. So, yeah, there's the second limousine right there, so we can just use his body to know where we need to place the, the bomb. Because we placed the bomb in a, in a briefcase, nobody will be suspicious of me or, or know that I'm about to blow these people up again. And uh, here we go. One, two, three. Oh, that was... Okay, I timed that poorly. That, that That's unfortunate. But uh, hopefully we don't screw that up on the, on the last target. So what I'm going to do now is... The first target that I killed also has a keycard to his room on him. 
Um, I'm going to take it from him so that way I can gain access to his room so I can take his briefcase. And uh, I'm going to also retrieve a bomb from the hotel room in, in my room. Normally, on each level, you have two bombs when you buy a, the bomb upgrade. But on this level, you also get a third one in your hotel room. So I'm going to go up there and retrieve it now. So that way I can use it to kill the last target when he finally arrives. Uh, this is a long level, but um, with how this speedrun is routed, there's a lot going on. So it's pretty much active all the time, despite how long it takes. <clears throat> yeah, but that's a pretty long elevator ride. But there's a reason for that, uh, a reason that's not relevant to the speedrun, however, so I'm not even going to say what it is. Right, so here's the bomb that we need to collect, and uh, over on the other side of this floor is the room that we need to go to in order to get the other briefcase that we need. All the way on the other side of this floor. All the way. And finally, here it is. Pick it up, and then we go back downstairs. There's really not much else to say about this level. I've pretty much explained everything that I uh, need to do here. We're gonna wait until we're inside the elevator before I uh, place the bomb inside of it, though. This is another thing that I practiced uh, before the run, too, by the way, uh, because uh, the last target, that despite uh, spawning before you can actually see him, he actually spawns a lot later than the other people who arrive by limousine. So uh, the timing for when you need to set it off is different from the other people. And also the positioning needs to be more precise than um, the other targets as well. And his limousine is just arriving, so I got here just in the nick of time. I'm gonna hope that I place the, the bomb correctly as I make my way towards the exit. I'm basically going as far away from the bomb as I possibly can while still being able to set it off. And, uh... Oh my god, I can't believe that just happened. I... <laughs> I don't know what I got wrong there, either the positioning of the bomb or the timing of the explosion. And I waited so long to set it off as well. But yeah, there we go. That's the, uh, that's the end of the level right there. So now we can just leave. Uh, the fact that people are shooting at us now really doesn't matter because we, we just completed all of the objectives. So yeah, we're done here. We can just leave. Finally, the longest level in the game is over now, and uh, we're actually in the- Oh my god, I accidentally saved my game again. <laughs> oh, that's so bad. <laughs> oh my god. Um, yeah. So, here we go, Dance of the Devil. One of the last levels in the game. Um, we don't have anything that we need to retrieve in this level, but, uh, we're taking the sniper rifle with us anyway because, uh, we're actually gonna use it for once. Yeah, imagine actually using the weapons that you bring with you to a level. So we're, we're going to throw a bomb at these guys. They're going to tell us that we're not allowed here, but we don't care. We're, we're going to go through anyway, and uh, I forgot to bring my gun. Oh my god, I can't believe I actually forgot to bring my gun. <sighs> so we're going to have to take these weapons from these guys in order to kill them. Oh my god, this is such a big time loss here. And yeah, we do need to kill all of these guys, uh, because, um, when you go into the basement party, um, if you don't kill these guys, then they're gonna chase after you, and, uh, what's, what's gonna happen there is that they're gonna call the elevator because you need to take the elevator down there, um, and, uh, if they call the elevator, you have to wait for it to come back down before you can go back up, and, uh, that's why... Um, you need to kill these guys, and I also need to heal already because I, I took so much damage from that huge screw-up I did by not bringing my gun with me. I'm just gonna ignore that guy for now.
So yeah, um, that's one of the targets down. Um, because I took so long in the garage, one of the other targets has already run backstage. So now I have to actually chase after her in order to kill her. And uh, where is she? Oh my god. Don't tell me I'm actually going to die here. Don't tell me I'm actually going to die here. Oh my god. I have no idea where, where, the, where the second target is now. Okay, um... <laughs> this is extremely awkward. Oh, I think I know where the second target is. She's somewhere in the crowd down here. Yeah, that was her. I thought she had gone backstage, but she was down there all along. Yeah. <laughs> if this run had any chance of PBing, it just died right there, because all because of, of one mistake of me not bringing my gun. <laughs> oh man. But uh, now we're done with the, the party in the basement, so we're gonna head to the party upstairs. And uh, oh boy. The party upstairs also has two targets. Um, I have no idea where one of them is going to be now because I took so long to get through this level as, as fast as I normally would be able to. Um... Oh my god, he's he's already gone backstage, which he normally would never be uh, in, in a fast, proper run. But uh, yeah, that that's one of the targets down. Um, I have to run to the bathroom in order to kill these, this other guy. Um, I'm not sure why my uh, briefing menu came up there. I did not press that button, so yeah, that's, that was really strange. Hopefully I can, I can leave this level without dying, and for some reason a guard uh, called the elevator, so now I have to wait for it to come back up before I can go down. Oh my god, this is such a disaster. This run is completely falling apart right at the very end here. I I cannot believe this. This is, wow, a total disaster. There's the elevator. I want to see who, who's the guy that, that called the elevator here. Oh, God. It was a guy from the basement party. Oh, my God. I have a pixel of health left. If I get shot just one more time, I am actually dead. I am actually gonna die here. Please don't be, don't, don't let there be any guards. Please don't let there be any guards. Please don't let there be any guards. Please don't let there be any guards. Okay. <laughs> Okay, we actually managed to finish the level. <laughs> oh my god, that was so lucky. <coughs> I mean, it was unlucky that that run went as badly as it did, but I was lucky to survive there at the very end. So now we're coming to the next to last level, which is Amendment 25. This level takes place in the White House, and uh, we have to kill the Vice President and an assassin he hired to kill the President. So, um, uh, yeah. We've been hired to do that, so that's what we're gonna do. Um, wow, I'm not sure how I opened those doors from behind other doors, but um, yeah, we're basically just uh, gunning our way through the White House with no regard for who's shooting at us. We would not be able to do this strat if we were playing on professional. So uh, yeah, that's another reason for playing on the lowest difficulty as opposed to the highest. Uh, the Vice President is going to be in our office uh, to our left here, so I'm going to try to shoot at him as I'm running by, and there he is. So now all we have to do is kill the assassin he hired. And uh, to do that, there's actually a glitched collision on one of the windows to the awful office. And uh, we can throw a bomb through it because it is a glitched collision. Hopefully if I do this right, the bomb will go through the window. And uh, if I time the explosion correctly and if the bomb is went through the window, then uh, it will kill him. That looks like a good throw. Oh my god, that didn't kill him. Okay, well luckily we have two bombs to work with here, so uh, we can try again. Uh, hopefully I'll get it this time. If not, then uh, we gotta do it the long way. That looked like a bad throw. Oh my god, so many guards. I'm gonna 
need to kill them all before I set off this bomb. Uh, and of course the bomb throw was bad, of course. So now we need to actually go into the awful office and uh, I need to kill him myself. But hopefully I can show off something else neat that you can do. If you enter the Oval Office in first person mode and uh, oh my god. This cutscene is gonna play out and um, if he, he's gonna set off a bomb behind us after this cutscene ends. But if you time pulling the trigger just right, you can actually kill him um, immediately without needing to chase after him to the roof. Oh, and I didn't get it. Okay, well, um, hopefully him pausing there for a second will allow us to catch up to him and we can kill him before he gets to the roof. Yeah, okay. So, thankfully we don't need to chase him all the way up to the roof now. We can just leave the level since I successfully killed the Vice President earlier. Uh, my health is kind of bad right now, but uh, it shouldn't be an issue because... You don't take that much damage on, on Rookie, and uh, I can always just heal. Uh, so this uh, definitely isn't uh, going well, but I managed to somewhat salvage it just a little bit. Yeah. Just need to make our way all... basically go through the level in reverse now. Uh, not sure why this guy is walking calmly through the door. Uh, gonna heal here just in case. Kind of funny how, uh, you know, I'm gone for like a minute and already things are seemingly returning back to normal in, in this part of the White House. Uh, <laughs> yeah, all these guys here are more or less just walking as if there's nothing wrong. Uh, I don't really need to kill these guys. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's Amendment 25 done. <clears throat> Excuse me. And, uh, now we can move on to the last level, which is the shootout level that I mentioned before. You want to know why, uh, 47 is laying there in the main... Well, it's because his death has been faked, and now we have to kill the people who know about 47 actually existing and not just being a myth. Oh my god. This is going badly. I, I practically didn't kill anybody. And because I'm, I'm using two guns instead of one, I have to wait a really long time to uh, reload. Uh, this is not the ideal weapon that you want to use here, but uh, at this point I'm, I'm willing to take anything. Oh, there's the MP7, which is a machine gun, which is much better than what we started off with. And uh, gotta kill this wheelchair guy, and then we kill the priest, and we done with the love. It's going to be time when this last target on the level dies. At this point, the priest has already... Okay, um... There's the priest. Uh, he didn't run to the gates, but instead stayed at the crematorium. And, uh, yeah. Now, <laughs> we're done with the game. So that's Hitman Blood Money. Um, not, not the best run. Some, most of the levels went pretty much exactly as planned. But uh, those last few definitely fell apart, especially at the end there. Um, these ending uh, cutscenes are unskippable, but um, we can use this time to say um, thank you everybody for watching the run. Thank you, Big John, for hosting this marathon. Thanks to everybody who's uh, supporting the cause. You know, no matter how you're doing it, whether you're out there protesting or you're just donating money to um, causes like what Big John is raising money for here. Um, support the cause any way you can. Uh, don't let anybody ever tell you that you're wrong for uh, being quote-unquote woke. Don't let, let anybody tell you that it's bad to support causes like this. You are right to be angry about what has been going on throughout the years. You are right to demand change for the better. You know, you are righteous in everything you do as long as you support causes like this. Don't ever let anybody tell you that you're wrong or bad for, for doing things like supporting causes and groups like Black Lives Matter. But yeah, that'll be it. Thank you everybody for watching. Thank you Big John. And uh, yeah, that's, that's it. It's the end of the run.